what we want okay good e <laughs> good evening everybody and uh, welcome to the gospel minute live i'm steve toby it's monday night the second monday of the of the month and that makes it our akathist our night for the akathist for the nurturing of children so when you're praying i want you to keep curtain curtain me in your prayers this evening because we are children but thankfully we do have adult supervision amy and christine are here also so let's go right over to them and say hello. There's our adult supervision, Kurt. <laughs> and Thank boy, do we need it. Yeah. Well, Christina, why don't you lead us off in prayer this evening? Of course. Good evening, everyone. Let us, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, as we read your word, please help us to know, love, and understand you better. Help us to recognize how you want us to apply your word to our lives. May you enlighten our minds and enkindle in our hearts a greater love for you and for others in our families and in the world as we read and meditate on your word. This we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 81. Psalm 81. Am 82. I correct? 82. 82. 82. 82. All right. Oh, sorry. 82. Psalm 82 prophesies that all who hate Christ will also persecute his son. <coughs> various, various nations mentioned, mentioned represent the kind of persecutors who seek to destroy the church. Psalm 82, found on page 737. O oh God, who can be likened to you? Be not silent nor appeased, O oh, oh, oh God, for behold, your enemies made a noise, and those who hate you raise up their heads. They devised a wicked judgment against your people, and they plotted against your saints. They said, Come, and let us destroy them from among the people, and let the name Israel be remembered no more. For they plotted together in unity, they, est they established a covenant against you. The tents of the Edomites and the Ishmaelites, Moab and Hagarenes, Gebal and Ammon and Amalek, and foreigners with inhabitants of Tyre, and even Assyria joined with them. They came to the aid of the sons of Lot. Deal with them as with Midian, and Sisera, as with Jabin and the brook Kishon, they were destroyed at Edor, Endor. They became li like dung on the earth, make their rulers like Oreb and Zeb, and all their rulers like Zeba and Zal Zalmuna, who said, let us inherit the holy place of God for ourselves. Oh my God, turn them like a wheel, like straw before the face of the wind like the fire that burns through a thicket, like a flame that sets mountains on fire. Thus you shall pursue them with your storm, and you shall trouble them in your wrath. Fill their faces with disgrace, and they shall seek your name, O Lord. Let them be disgraced and troubled unto ages of ages, and let them be shamed and destroyed, and let them know your name is Lord that you alone are the most high over all the earth. Amen. This is the word of our Lord. Thank you. And Jonathan, would you read our epistle for the evening? Good evening, everyone. Tonight's epistle is from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 through 10. And there's some interesting notes here. Uh, on page 1579 of your Orthodox Study Bible, here is an authentic apostle. His life demonstrates the paradox of God's strength working in human weakness of renouncing the world in order to master it. The day of salvation is now. 
always the present moment in the period before Christ's return. This passage read on the days commemorating female martyrs. Chapter 6, verses 1 through 10. Let us attend. We then, as workers together with him, also plead with you not to receive to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold now is the acceptable time. Behold now is the day of salvation. We give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed. But in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience, in tribulations, in needs, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labor, in sleeplessness, in fastings, by purity, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet po possessing all things. The word of the Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. And Amy, would you read our gospel for this evening? Absolutely. Good evening, everyone. Our gospel tonight is Luke chapter 7, verses 36 to 50, and that is found um, on page 1378. So Luke chapter 7, verse 36, it's the uh, forgiveness of a sinful woman. Then one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him, and he went to the Pharisee's house and sat down to eat. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and stood at his feet behind him, weeping. And she began to wash his feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair on her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed them with the fragrant oil. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he spoke to himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would know who and what manner of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. So he said, Teacher, say it. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. And when they had nothing which with, which with to pay, with which to repay, he forgave freely them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said to him, you have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she's washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore, I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. And those who sat at the table with him began to say to themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? Then he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. This is the word of the Lord in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And just for a clarification, over in John chapter 12, we have a similar event. <coughs> similar, but they're two different events. Two different events. Yeah. So, two different events. I've been, I was looking today to find out what her name was, if the Orthodox tradition had 
given, you know, had, you know, who was this woman? And what I did, I couldn't find out specifically her name, but interestingly enough, tomorrow we get to do um, um, St. Veronica from the woman with the issue of blood tomorrow yep. is listed as her. So um, I really enjoy learning more about these people who really were people, you know, with names yeah. and, you know, it's not just a story. It's, it's history. Let me see something here. You're right. And let um, me see here. Tomorrow. The That's 12. the treasury. The treasury and of the it. church. Yes, I like that. Thank you, Jonathan. And also, I think tomorrow is St. Paisios, too. And I'm looking at the OCA site. Yeah, she's scrolled oh, There down. we go. St. Yep. Veronica, the woman with the issue of blood. We'll read that tomorrow morning. Okay. I we'll like We'll read that. her life tomorrow morning. So. Yeah, we'll take time. We'll take time. Okay. All right. Uh, so what's next on our agenda? Oh, Christina, our meditation. Of course, our meditation is a quote from St. Nicodemus, the Hagiorite. God's desire, I'm so sorry, God's desire to save you is greater than that of your enemy to destroy you. Amen. You said it. Is that I all? Like that. She should I read it again. Read it again. Read it again. <laughs> I will read it again. Look, God's desire to save you is greater than that of your enemy to destroy you. Amen. I find that very interesting. You know why? Because we say, oh, you know what? This or this or this was too strong. I, I couldn't help myself. Or I couldn't. And if we think of God, how great God's desire is to keep us saved, we wouldn't make mistakes. Yeah. Or give up so easy. Right. That's probably true. That's so, probably true. I like this. I'll write it somewhere on the fridge. <laughs> Thank you. Christina. I like it's a good that one. very much. Who said that one again, Christina? Saint Nicodemus the Hagiorite. You're right. I'll take a I'll take a picture and I'll text it to you. Again. Okay, that would be great. I like that one very much. That gives uh -huh. the power. It's a good one. Power when you think about it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants it to us to be united with Him more than. The enemy wants to pull us apart. And sometimes more than we care ourselves. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that right? Right. <laughs> okay, um, Kurt, chapter 11 of Deuteronomy. Oh, you don't want to see who's here tonight? Oh, sure. Let's do that. It's, it's a short list. Uh, it's a sparse and views. Uh, Katerina Salas, good evening. Uh, Nancy Reardon Klein is a woman of few words tonight. She says hi. Hi. Um, Mary Saad, good evening, prayer family. Joanna Manaski, good evening, everyone. We set a record today, 115 degrees. And let's That's see. Phoenix, right? It was so, yeah. so hot in Phoenix that here uh -huh. in New York, uh -huh. my uh -huh. eyes melted like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How hot was it? Uh, Stravula Bacos, good evening, everyone. Coming home from the Divine Liturgy of St. Peter and Paul. Happy Feast Day to those who celebrate today. That's for right. you tomorrow. Old calendar. Yep. Thank you. Um, Karen Kralanovic, good evening, Steve. Sweet prayer family, praying for our hearts to be loving and pliable to what the Lord wants us to do at a moment's notice. Amen. Immediately. Immediately. Amen. As Apostle Mark says, um, Karen Kolovich, that's so beautiful, Christina Hunter. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Katerina itself, please pray for me. Anxiety, depression levels to go down. Well, Lord, once again, we ask for your control over her emotions and feelings and everything else that's involved. We ask this. Amen. Amen. Uh, Oh, and I think there was something here about uh, some making the heat bearable, but somehow I've missed it. Um, so that's everybody over here. Okay. Well, over here we have Roger Spearman. Jesus, amen. Jesus, amen. You've got that water and I've run, run out. Joseph Khalil is here. And, oh, it says see more. He has a uh, verse or two from Psalm 146. Okay. 
The Lord executes justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, gives freedom to the prisoners, opens the eyes of the blind, raises those who are bowed down, loves the righteous, watches over the strangers, relieves the fatherless and the widow. Amen. That's a nice, that's nice. I like that. I do. I like that. Well, venturing over to the annex. Let me see. Good evening. Uh, Michael Rager. Good evening. Uh, Steve, my twin, fellow Coneheads, Kurt, and everyone. May God richly bless us with all his love, peace, and, and grace. Love y'all. Gloria Drummond, good evening. And blessings and love. Amen. Betty Hedicletes. Good evening, everyone. I hope everybody's doing well in this beautiful evening. God bless. Amen. And maybe we'll see uh, Betty this Saturday for our food distribution at, at uh, St. Michael's. And by the way, there'll be no morning prayers on Saturday because of the food distribution. So, And let me see. And Gloria says, yay, the panel. <laughs> and Joe Barbera, good evening. Joycey Rager, good evening. God bless everyone. And let me see here. And Michael says, I'm supervising the little children. That is Steve and Kurt tonight. Then they're on their own after tonight. <laughs> Elioni Shanera, good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Blessings of the Lord to you all. Amen. And quick look over here. Quick look over here. Mary Sod and Robin Armstrong have just shown up. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mary uh, Robin's got Pippin with her. Good evening. And Mary Sod praying for you, Katerina. Same me too. Please message me, messenger me anytime. You are my sister in Christ. Amen. Amen. Ooh, what a nice family we have. All righty. Now it's time for Deuteronomy chapter 11. Oh, okay. So that will be found on page 226 of your Orthodox Study Bible, going over to 227. Two of the topics uh, in the chapter tonight are God's greatness and inherit the land. Chapter 11. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God and always keep his commandments, his ordinances, his judgments. Know today I do not speak with your children who have not known and seen the chastening of the Lord your God, or his greatness and mighty hand and outstretched arm, arm, the signs and wonders he did in the midst of Egypt to Pharaoh the king of Egypt and to all his land, what he did to the army of Egypt, to their horse and chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea overflow them as they pursued you, and how the Lord destroyed them to this day. What he did for you in the desert until you came to this place, and what he did to Dathan and Abram, <laughs> the son of Elab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up in the midst of Israel, along with their households, tents, all the substance in their possession. But your eyes saw all the great works the Lord did for you today. Therefore, you shall keep all his commandments I command you today, that you may live and increase and go in and inherit the land you are crossing the Jordan to inherit, and may prolong your days in the land the Lord swore to give to your fathers, to them and their seed after them, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land you go in to inherit is not like the land of Egypt from which you came, where you sowed your seed and watered it by foot as a vegetable garden. But the land you were crossing over to inherit is a land of hills and plains, which drinks water from the rain of heaven, a land the Lord your God looks upon. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it, from beginning of the year to the very end of the year. So if you earnestly obey all his commandments, I command you today, to love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart, with all your soul, then he will give you rain for your land in its season, and the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, wine, and olive oil, 
and I will send grass in your fields for your cattle, that you may eat and be filled. Take heed to yourselves, lest your heart be deceived, and you transgress and serve other gods and worship them. Lest the Lord's anger be aroused against any, be against you, and he shut up heaven so there be no rain, and the land yield no produce, and you perish quickly from the good land the Lord gave you. Therefore, you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul and bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be immovable before your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house and walk by the way. When you lie, lie down and rise up, you shall also write them on the doorposts of your house and your gates that your days and the days of your sons may be multiplied in the land the Lord swore to give to your fathers like days of heaven on earth. For if you carefully keep all these commandments, I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to hold fast to him, then the Lord will cast out these nations from before your face and you will inherit greater and mightier nations than yourselves. Every place the sole of your foot treads shall be yours, from the desert and Antilabanan, and from the great Euphrates River, even to the Western Sea shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand against your face. The Lord your God will put the dread and fear of you upon all the land where you tread, and the manner the Lord said to you. Behold, I set before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, I command you today, and the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but go astray from the way I commanded you today to go after a different gods you have not known. Now it shall be, when the Lord your God brings you into the land you are to inherit, you shall put the, the blessing on Mount Jerusalem and the curse on Mount Ebal. Indeed, they are not on the other side of the Jordan toward the setting sun in the land of Canaan, the area that lies to the west near Gidgal beside the lofty oak. For you will cross over the Jordan and go in to inherit the land the Lord your God is giving you, and you inherit it all your days and dwell in it. Therefore, you shall be careful to do all the ordinances and the judgment I set before you today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Don't close your page yet. Okay. I want to look something up here. Put the blessing and, of Mount Jerusalem and the curse on Mount Ebal. They are not on the other side of the Jordan. Huh. Okay, over on John, uh, John chapter 4, um, let me see here, over in chapter 4, uh, the Samaritan woman, uh, mm -hmm. she was a Samaritan, and the Samaritans uh, worshipped God on Mount Gerizim. And it's that is Mount is mentioned here in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 11. You shall put the blessing on Mount Gerizim. Mm -hmm. So and maybe that's where the, uh, the Samaritans got the idea that they should worship there rather than Jerusalem. Okay. That maybe I'll, I'll do some research on that. That's a good one. All righty. Well... It's time to start our any any comments or anything before we start our acathist. I hear silence. 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 Okay, Amy, would you start us off by reading our Trisagian prayers? And while you're doing that, I'll set up the acathist for us. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, 
Come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thank you so much. And uh, Kurt... There you go. Tony. There we go. Uh -huh. Kurt, would you uh, lead us off? I will, Steve. Thank you. Oh, am I? Okay. O victorious leader and good nurturer of the Christian race, we, thy <laughs> servants, delivered from evil, sing our grateful thanks to thee. But as thou hast invincible might, deliver our children from all dangers, that with tears we may cry to thee. Raise our children to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Intercede with thy son and God, O most holy one, that an angel from heaven be sent to our children, just as to thee was sent a most mighty protector, the archangel Gabriel, and vouchsafe us to cry to thee thus. Raise our children to be earthly angels. Raise our children to be heavenly men. Raise our children to be thy servants. Raise our children to cry out to thee. Rejoice, so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Raise our children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessing. And Christina? As thou seest my maternal entreaty for my children, begging help of thee alone, do thou take them under thine honorable and compassionate protection, that they may cry to God, Alleluia. Send my children understanding, that they may know how to serve thee well. Fill their hearts with heavenly wisdom, and grant that they may love it alone and scorn the things of the world. Do not hinder my lips from crying such things as these. Praise my children to be wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. Raise my children to have knowledge of good, but not of sin. Raise my children to be wise against the snares of the devil. Raise my children to order their lives wisely, following the example of the saints. Raise my children, nourishing them with the milk of the hidden wisdom of God, that they may seek it all their lives. Raise my children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven, and make them heirs of eternal blessing. And uh, Amy? May the, may the power of the Most High overshadow our children through thine unceasing intercession before thy son. And on account of this, having come to know thy maternal compassion toward all who run to God with faith, may they cry to God, Alleluia. Having received our children from God, we do not desire to behold them dwelling in eternal torment, but rather to see them written in the book of life and made inheritors of eternal life. For thy sake, O most pure virgin, incline thine ear to our supplication as we cry to thee. Raise our children to flee eternal torment. Raise our children to inherit life eternal. Raise our children to pass the course of their life in repentance. Raise our children to labor to acquire the grace of the Holy Spirit. Raise our children to exert effort to attain the kingdom of heaven. Raise our children to be written in the book of life. Raise our children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Thank you. And Jonathan? Having within a tempest of doubting thoughts and wanting to give our children to drink of eternal life, we weep. 
Thus, having remembered thy most rich mercies, we sing to thy Son with hope and with a contrite heart. Alleluia. Having heard thy voice crying to thy Son, preserve in thine inheritance those whom thou hast given me unto the ages. We stretch out our hands and our heart towards thy loving kindness, entreating that thou will will keep our children among thy servants and fulfill these our petitions. Raise our children in thy most holy inheritance. Raise our children with all thy saints. Raise our children to be thy servants, fulfilling all thy commands. Raise our children to seek help from thee alone. Raise our children to inherit eternal life. Raise our children, O Lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Thank you. And Kurt? May the morning star, which is thy son, O most holy virgin, shine with unfading light in the hearts of our children that they may cry to God, Alleluia. Having seen our diligent supplication rising like incense to thy glory, Turn not thy face away from our children, though they turn away from thee. But all the more hear the cry of our lips singing to thee. Raise our children to be poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven. Raise our children to weep, that they may be comforted. Raise our children to be meek, that they may inherit the earth. Raise our children to hunger and thirst after righteousness, that they may be filled. Raise our children to be merciful, that they may obtain mercy. Raise our children to be pure in heart, that they may see God. Raise our children to be peacemakers, that they may be called the sons of God. Raise our children, O Lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. And Christina? <clears throat> All we, the faithful, ever proclaim thee the defense of orphans, widows, and mothers, and of all thy children who pray and cry out to thee, Alleluia. With the rays of grace teach my children, so that enlightened by thee from on high, they may see the path leading to life eternal and follow on it, nourished beneath thine all-powerful protection in the church of thy Son, where there is unending light. For the sake of this, hear me, who does cry to thee thus. Raise my children to be the light of the world, that they may light shine before men, and that seeing their good deeds, men will glorify their Father in heaven. Raise my children to be enlightened by thy Son, that in his light they may see light and direct their steps toward him. Raise my children always to turn their eyes of their heart to the Redeemer of all. Raise my children to be guided to the habitation of the righteous by the morning star, which is thy son. Raise my children to be meek and silent and to tremble before the word of God. Raise my children to love thee and thy son, not only with their minds, but also with their hearts. Raise my children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Thank you. And uh, Amy? Desiring for our children eternal salvation, with tears we stand before thy most honorable icon, O lady, that disdaining not our supplication, thou wilt cry to, the, to thy son, Alleluia. By the wondrous and incomprehensible action of thy son, lead our children with thy merciful hand beneath thy gracious protection, that with sincerity we may cry to thee, Raise our children to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Raise our children to walk the narrow way leading to life eternal. Raise our children to do the will of thy son and God in every place. Raise our children to long to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Raise our children to be numbered among thy chosen ones. Raise our children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Jonathan? When will our children, wandering in the greatly perilous and stormy valley of this world, 
Receive joy and consolation, if not in thee, O most pure one. Travel with them and teach them the true path that they may cry to God. Alleluia. To all art thou a merciful mother, O lady, and we desire that we may become thy children. Thus we place our children in thy hands and in humility we beg of thee. Raise our children to keep vigil and pray that they may not fall into temptation. Raise our children to be merciful so that their Father in heaven will be merciful to them. Raise our children in purity of childhood, for to children belong the kingdom of God. Raise our children to be the least of all, that they may be great before God. Raise our children to fulfill the word of God and to be partakers of the heavenly blessedness for which they came into being. Raise our children to have good hope in the kingdom of heaven. Raise our children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Thank you. And Kurt? Fill the souls and hearts of our children with all good, driving away from them the spirit of evil atheism, giving to each of them as is needed from thy compassion toward all, that we may cry to God, Alleluia. Deliver our children from association with falsely theorizing orators who speak lies about thine all-powerful intercession and look upon us faithfully singing. Raise our children to love thee with all their hearts and minds. Raise our children to open their lips only in the praise and glory of thy blessings. Raise our children to await the coming of thy son with tears. Raise our children in watchful and continual prayer. Raise our children to stand always before thee with reverence. Raise our children to bear good fruit. Raise our children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Christina. Desiring to save the world, thy son came from heaven to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. For the sake of this, pray to thy son that having been saved through thee, my children may call to God, Alleluia. Surrounding my children with, with undestructible walls, O heavenly queen, that under thy bless, blessed protection, they may accomplish a multitude of good deeds, and that with them I may cry to thee thus. <laughs> Raise my children to be leaders in doing the will of thy son and God. Raise my children to hate sin and all transgressions. Raise my children to love good and all virtue. Raise my children in blameless purity. Raise my children to ascend the ladder of their lives every day. Raise my children to turn their eyes to thy compassion in the midst of sorrows. Raise my children to serve thee in obedience and chastity. Raise my children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessing. Thank you. And uh, Amy. O shining, I'm sorry. Make our children worthy always to him thine unshakable intercession and through thy grace direct their lips to sing to God, Alleluia. O shining lamp from on high, make the lives of our children to burn and their hearts to melt day and night with love for thee and thy son and for their neighbors and disdain not, disdain us not who cry to thee. Raise our children to love thee with all their hearts and minds. Raise our children to open their lips only in the praise and glory of thy blessings. Raise our children in watchful and continual prayer. Raise our children to stand always before thee with reverence. Raise our children to bear good fruit. Raise our children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. And Jonathan. Fill the hearts of our children with the inexpressible grace of the, Holy, of the Holy Spirit so that they may love only thy son and God and thee, O most good one, that being inspired by thee, we may cry to the king of all. Alleluia. Singing of thy loving kindness, we pray to thee, who feeds and has hast mercy on our children. Cease not to intercede for them, 
with thy son, for we believe that all is possible for thee. And do thou fulfill these our entreaties. Raise our children to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Raise our children to be found on the right hand of the judgment seat of thy son. Raise our children to live in a holy manner. Raise our children to dwell securely on the path of faith by the grace of the Spirit of God. Raise our children to hunger and thirst insatiably for the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. Raise our children to perfect as our Father in to to perfect as our Father is in heaven is perfect. Raise our children, O Lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Amen. And Kurt. O all hymn the mother of our sweetest Jesus, accept this small hymn of supplication for our children as a sweet fragrance and take them under thy compassionate protection. Grant them to think, know, hear, say, and do only that which brings them close to thee and thy son and helps them attain eternal salvation. And send them in this present life all that is profitable for the salvation of their souls, that they may cry to God, Alleluia. O all hymned mother of our sweetest Jesus, accept this small hymn of our supplication for our children as a sweet fragrance, and take them under thy compassionate protection. Grant them to think, know, hear, say, and do, only that which brings them close to thee and thy son and helps them to attain eternal salvation and send them in this present life all that is profitable for the salvation of their souls that they may cry to god alleluia O all hymned mother of our sweetest jesus accept this small hymn of supplication for our children as a sweet fragrance and take them under thy compassionate protection Grant them to think, know, hear, say, and do only that which brings them close to thee and thy son and helps them attain eternal salvation and send them in this present life all that is profitable for the salvation of their souls that they may cry to God, Alleluia. Intercede with thy son and God, O most holy one, that an angel from heaven be sent to our children just as to thee was sent a most mighty protector, the archangel Gabriel, and vouchsafe us to cry to thee thus, raise our children to be earthly angels, raise our children to be heavenly men, raise our children to be thy servants, raise our children to cry out to thee, rejoice so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Raise our children, O lady, to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven, and make them heirs of eternal blessings. O victorious leader and good nature of the Christ, nurturer of the Christian race, we thy servants delivered from evil, sing our grateful thanks to thee. But as thou hast an invincible might, deliver our children from all dangers, that with tears we cry to thee. Raise our children to be made worthy of the kingdom of heaven, and make them heirs of eternal blessings. Amen. And Christina, would you read that uh, finishing prayer for us? Of course. One second, let me turn here. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, for the sake of the prayers of thy most pure mother, hearken unto me, thine unworthy servant. O Lord, govern in mercy my children, thy servants. Have mercy on them and save them for thy name's sake. O Lord, forgive them all their transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, that they may be perfected before thee. O Lord, set them on the true path of thy commandments and enlighten their minds with the light of Christ unto salvation of their souls and the healing of their bodies. Bless them, O Lord, at home and at school, in their journeys and in every place of thy dominion. Preserve and shelter them, O Lord, from flying bullets arrows, the sword, poison, and fire, from mortal wounds and sudden death. Guard them, O Lord, from all visible and invisible enemies, and from all danger, evil, and misfortune. Heal them, O Lord, from all sickness, 
deliver them from every impurity, enlighten their spiritual sufferings. Grant them, O Lord, the grace of thy Holy Spirit in a long life. Grant them health and chastity in all piety and love, and to live in accord with all their neighbors, near and far. Multiply and strengthen them, O Lord, in mental ability and bodily strength given to them by thee. Bless them to lead a pious life, and if it is pleasing to thee, grant them married life and honorable ch childbearing. For thy name's sake, O Lord, give me, thy sinful and unworthy servant, a, a parental blessing for my children and thy servants, both in this present time, morning, noon, and night, and also in thy eternal, almighty, and all-powerful kingdom. Amen. Thank you. And there we go. Everybody's back home. Thank you. Well, um, friends, I pray for my children, my four sons, John, Scott, Sean, my daughter, Maureen, and all of my grandchildren. I pray, dear Lord, that you protect them and keep them safe. Amen. Yeah. Kurt. I'd like to pray for Kristen and her fiance, Brandon, Rachel and her boyfriend, Jeff, Nicole and her boyfriend, Joseph, Brandon, Nicole, and Lexi, in absence of one of our friends tonight. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, do you have anyone you would like to pray for? Uh, let, let's pray for the children of the churches of the believers of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're having we're, we're having a drought in the church, uh, especially the Orthodox Church. The kids are leaving. They're not staying in the church. And uh, we're having a, a drought not only in the Orthodox and the Catholics, but the Protestants are having the same problem. So I want to pray for all those children that are going away from the church and getting itching ears and that they would come back to the church and seek out Christ. Thank you. Amy. Amy always has a list. And I do. I have the list pulled up tonight. So let's see. Of course, let's say Sarah, Natalie, Bryce, Isabella, and Addison. Ulrich, Tristan, Lawrence, Liam, Ashton, Dorothy, Brendan, Kieran, Hope, Taylor, Belle, and Katie, Levi, Jack, Will, Forrest, Chrissy, um, Grace, Anna, James, Maria, Apollinaria, Ananias, Bronson, Nico, and Bentley. Those are from our church. And, Thank you uh, so much. Appreciate it. And Lord, have mercy on them and guard them and keep them safe. And Lord, she mentioned Belle in there. Heal her of her injuries. We pray for that. Amen. Christina. Well, I would like to pray for my ch three children, Victoria, Christiane, and Kylie. I also would like to pray for my two stepchildren, um, Daniela and Emilio. And I would like to pray for all the children here at St. Jude, um, the Cancer Institute. May God bless them and heal them. Amen. God bless them all. And, you know, St. Jude's and what the Shriners Hospitals, too. Not in Memphis, but around the country. Well, right. they do wonderful work, too. Thank you, Lord, for them. Okay. Now, Kurt, do you have anybody who has any prayer requests over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually, uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let me just scroll down. I got to find them. We're talking about all the weather and everything first. Mm -hmm. um, well, first off, we want to pray for Nikita. Uh, Karen Valentasis, his son, who passed his driving test. Hallelujah. And, yeah, and to keep him safe. Amen. Keep Amen. us away from Warren, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Joy practice, Manaski. practice, practice. Yeah. Uh, Joy Manaski asked for prayers for Corey, Aaron, Andrew, Sophia, Madison, Gwen, Peyton, Roman, Levi, and Leanne, L Lanny, I think. Declan, Hudson, and Jacob. Um, 
Karen Karlanovich. Well, let me stop there for a second. We want to really pray for Madison, who's very, very troubled. And Lord, we pray that you heal her and send her the Holy Spirit to help her and guide her and for her family. We pray for Madison's family as well. Mm -hmm. Karen Karlanovich asked for prayers for Allie, sweet neighbor girl. Please pray for my granddaughter, Ariana, Lily, Haven, Hallie, Ripley, and Francis. Please pray my grandson, George, Gabe, Eden, Isaiah, and a neighbor's son, Isaac, who has an emotional disability. And we pray for Gabe, who's in the Marines. Keep him safe, Lord. Amen. Um, okay. Uh, Mary Saad, praying, praying for my children, their mental health, and neighbor who interfered deliberately with my marriage, asking God to help the children and I get over that grief together. Amen. Uh, Stravula Batkos, pray, prayers for Damien, Marie, Stella, Cosma, Nina, Ilya, and Xenia. We have mercy. Um, yeah, that's everybody over here. Actually, um, I have two more from over there. Do you? Yeah, the, you can't see them. Um, oh. Ken and Nancy Klein, we're praying yeah. for their children, Lydia and Darius. We pray for them, Lord, that they find faith in you. Amen. Now, over on my side. Well, Lord, we pray for Joseph Khalil's two sons, Toby and Luke. We pray for his daughters, Annabelle and Gabriella. Keep them strong. Send them the Holy Spirit, Lord. And Lord, for Luke, we pray that you guard him and protect him from all infections. We pray for that. Amen. And over here. Elioni Shaner, I pray for my children, my daughter-in-law, my nephews and nieces, my great nephews and my great nieces and my godchildren and their children. Also, all of the children at St. Michael's in uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, her uh, Elioni's parish. We pray for all of them, Lord. Keep them healthy, keep them strong and growing in faith in you. We pray for that. Amen. Well, I want to thank everyone. And uh, just, it's a beautiful prayer, isn't it? It's a beautiful mm -hmm. prayer. So, and I want to thank Yes? Without, without, without our children, people perish. They That's are it. our future. You know, I want to go back to Deuteronomy for just a minute. I hope you'll put up with me. Chapter 11. Okay. Well, while we look that up, let's just say uh, Karen Valentes is asking, up for us to pray for a great nephew. He's having a hard time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on him, Lord. And Karen sent me an email on that. Mm -hmm. And my son John is having a colonoscopy tomorrow. So we Lord, pray fine. for a good result for that. Amen. Now, Kurt read us so nicely today from chapter 11 of Deuteronomy. And over on uh, verse 19, chapter 11, mm -hmm. it's on page 226. You shall teach them to your, that's the commandments. You shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house and walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Yeah, our children. That's our responsibility to pass, pass God's law, God's commandments, God's love onto our children. Keep, keep going. You shall also write them on the doorposts of your house and your gates that your days and the days of your sons may be multiplied. Amen. 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 See, something good from Deuteronomy this evening. A lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, a lot of good stuff in there. And I want to thank all of you out there. Thank you so much for participating, for being with us, and it makes us... Uh, a little bit better, a little bit better, all of us here, to have you there with us. So, well, Amy and Christine and I will be here tomorrow morning for morning prayers at 8 a.m. And then Kurt and I will be back tomorrow night uh, at 9 p.m. Uh, no, no well, well, Jonathan. I'm Kurt. celebrating three birthdays tomorrow. Kurt is <laughs> celebrating three birthdays tomorrow. Three. Yeah, Kristen, Rachel, and Nicole, all born in July, and they're all going to be together with their daddy. That's Four right. Birthdays. Six birthdays. 
six birthdays. Chris Why? and Rachel and Nicole. Yeah. Yes. And you became the birthday of you becoming a daddy on each of their birthdays. <laughs> But don't you just count the first one, you know, like became a dad day. That would be became the mom first day. day. Became the a second. dad again day. Yeah. So I won't no. be, yeah, so I won't be here tomorrow night, but I'll be back after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh Jonathan will be here tomorrow night. That's at nine PM. So you. until then, may God bless us all. Do you have anything you want to say before we say good night, anybody? Two things. Amy's there to remind me. Amy, use your idea. Come on. What well, um, number one? God loves you, and He really does. And Kurt, number two. Number two is that we love you, and we really do. We really do. You're loved. You are. Well, good night, everybody, and may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you tomorrow. Good night.